In this tutorial, we're going to be building a Halloween game in Python. It's super beginner friendly and we'll code everything together. This is how the game works. Just like Halloween, you can knock on people's doors, but you don't know if you're going to get a trick or a treat. A trick is something like a ghost scaring you or maybe a pumpkin coming at you, but a treat is something like chocolate or candy. So let's code it. So we are currently on repelit.com and that's where we're going to be coding for this tutorial. Repl it, you get 10 free coding environments. So this is completely free. You don't need to download anything. So that's why I decided to use this website. So yes, so after you get here, after you sign in, what you can do is go to explore more and we can click on developer frameworks. And let me just move myself over here. Okay, so then we can click on Python. That's the language we're gonna be coding in for this tutorial. And then we can click remix. So we can call this Halloween Python game. You can change the description if you want. So you can be something like a trick or treat simulation. So let's use framework. And it's gonna load. Okay, great. What I'm gonna do is close this over here and we can go to tools and files. And then what we can do is actually look up main Dot py that's what we're going to code so we're going to have all our code in this one file and then console is where we'll see the output okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import everything that we need so we can import random so we're going to use random a lot random is going to help us to select a random you know treat from our list it's going to help us to select a random trick from our list we're also going to use random to help us generate a random number and this random number will determine whether the user does you know get a trick or a treat but more on that later so yes random is great then we're also going to import time and time is just used more for dramatic effect so basically after you knock on a door we're going to have our game pause for a little bit just so you know, you don't know if you're getting a trick or a treat. It's like dramatic effect. So yes, import random, import time. The next thing we're going to do is let's actually create our list. So we're going to have treats is equals to this bracket. And then we're going to have tricks is equal to this bracket. So basically, this is how we create a list in Python. And now we can actually add items to our list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quotation marks and inside you can actually add a, you know, we can add words. So this is basically a string and let me show you how this works. So for example, we can add a lollipop emoji and say lollipop. And this is one item in our list. So then let's add more items or strings to our list. So we can do something like we could do a cookie. That's not really like Halloween, but let's just you know, fill this up with stuff. Let's do a donut. We can also add, you know, candy. And you do not have to do emojis at all. I'll also write the text for people who don't want to do emojis. And then we'll, let's also do like chocolate. Yeah, that's good. So then this is a cookie. This is a donut. This is candy. And this is chocolate. Okay, and now let's add to our tricks list. So what we can do is, what's Halloween like? Yeah, let's do a ghost. But we can also do, I like an alien. We can have something that's like, yeah, robot. You know, robots taking over the world. That's kind of scary. Let's do a pumpkin. I like that, very Halloween. And then we can do a clown. So the clown, we can say something like um, peekaboo. <laughs> that would be scary. You open the door and a clown says peekaboo. This could be like um, lights out. We can have the robot say Ebu. Alien says random stuff, you know, because you can't understand an alien. And then we'll have the ghost do a classic boo. Okay, so now we have our list of treats and we have our list of tricks. Now let's welcome players to our game. So we can use print to help us display a message on the screen and we can say, welcome to Halloween. And then trick or treat, dot, dot, dot for mystery. And let's also add some pumpkins, make it very Halloween-like. 
Okay, so now let's create our game loop. So what I mean by game loop is users can knock on as many doors as they like. And when I say users, I mean like users, players, interchangeably. So yeah, let's have while true because we just want this to keep looping on and on as much as the player wants to play. So what we can do is actually get input from the user. So what I mean by that is we can use input to help us and we can tell the player, press enter to knock on a door. So this is like simulating knocking on a door in our game. And then after they knock, it's gonna be the pause. That's why we imported time. So we're gonna like pause. So we can use time.sleep and let's just wait for half a second just so like the user doesn't know like what they're gonna get. And what we can also do is I do wanna keep track of how much, how much treats they get so far. So what we can do is do something like total treats. And that's gonna start off as zero at the beginning of our game because you know, we don't have any candy yet. So now we're gonna get into really like the heart of our logic. So there's gonna be two different situations if you get a treat or if you get a trick. So what we can do is Let's kind of write that if else out, you know, just get that logic starting to like set up. So what we can have is maybe you have a 70% chance of getting a treat and a 30% chance of getting a trick. So what we can do is use random to help us select that random number. So let's say if random dot random, if that's less than 0 0.7, then basically if it's less than 0 0.7, you get a treat. Else, you know, you're gonna get that trick. Okay, so yay, you get a treat. What we can do is increase total treats by one, plus equals one. What we can also do is now select a random treat from our list. So we can say treat is equal to random.choice and we can select something from treats. And now let's show the player what treat they got. So we could do something like print. Yay, you got a treat. So basically I'm using this braces because I actually wanna grab the value that's in, you know, in treat. So what we can do is actually use F before the string and that's gonna help us to like, you know, not write bracket, treat, bracket. Like we don't want that to appear on the screen. We want the actual treat to appear on the screen. So that's why we're gonna use this kind of like, you know, that's why we're gonna write it out like this. So we can say, yay, you got a treat. And then we could do something like total treats. And we can just like use this and that will show us our total treats. So now else, that means unfortunately they get a trick. So what we can do is print and on the screen we can do something like, um, we can also use F to help us format this. And let's just do random.choice. So we use random.choice earlier, but this time it's gonna be for a trick. So let's pass in tricks. Okay, y'all, let's run our code and see what's going on. I'm here to interrupt this program to let you know that if you're enjoying this video, definitely give it a like and subscribe. I'm thinking about making this a series. Like, let's do a coding project once a month. Next month, we get to code a trick again. The month after Christmas, January, I'm gonna say 4th of July. But July, 4th of July, you know what I'm saying? So this could be a great series. So definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested if you're interested in that and subscribe if you wanna see the series. So we run it up here, we go to console. So welcome to Halloween, trick or treat. Press enter to knock on a door. Enter, a little pause, you saw that pause? Yay, you got chocolate, total treats is one. Now we can knock on another door. So return, it's return on my laptop. Okay, beep boo. Oh, we actually got a trick this time. Okay, so you can press enter and just keep going. Okay, yay, I got a lollipop. Now this is a little bit hard to read. So let's go over to main. And what we're gonna do is put like a space, like a line between each thing. So let me show you what I mean. What I can do is inside the quotes, add a slash N. And then we can also add a slash N over to that input line. 
and then a slash n when we tell them like what treat they got and then also a slash n it was chance for new line over here so this will be better to read and i wonder if we should be something like like oh no and then you know whatever that is okay let's see if i like that let's pause we're going to run our code again we're going to go to console okay now you see the spaces i feel like that's better to read welcome to halloween trick or treat press enter to knock on a door yay you got a candy total treats is one press enter to knock on a door oh no beep boo okay let's end on a treat yay okay you got a lollipop and the total treats it's calculating that correctly let's just like knock on a whole bunch of doors okay see all the different options going crazy i'm getting so much candy okay you're great so i just oh it's still going oh i was just pressing in a lot okay now oh still going okay nice wow i just got 24 treats i did halloween right even though as a kid i feel like you would have like bags of candy like 24 that's just from the morning if you like this video you'll probably like one of my og learn to code in python videos i'll have it linked in the description box it's very beginner friendly thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one